Okay, everybody, today I'm going to be doing a test with these. The real test is this. It's not necessarily testing the tie, but I'm testing these Zolt, um, what, I, what, how does someone pronounce it? I think they're from Zote, Zote. There's someone else that commented that Zote is not the proper um, pronunciation of the word, but that's what I'm going to call it. So this is uh, the Zote that I'm going to be testing. And the four hardest stains, as you can see through all the laundry detergent reviews that I've done, has been mustard stain, grape juice, sriracha sauce, and soy sauce. Um, it's interesting to me when I look at a lot of um, laundry detergent reviews, um, and they say that chocolate stain is apparently a hard one to get out, but I've just tested specifically two different types of chocolate. One is chocolate syrup and one is just like a bar chocolate, like a Hershey's bar chocolate that I rubbed on and let it sit for um, 24 hours and they all come out very easy. So I, it's interesting to me that they consider that a hard stain to remove. Regardless, these are the ones that have been a hard stain to remove for me. So what I'm going to do is this. I wanted to test this to see how well it was. This cost $3.88 in my local Walmart. And the reason I wanted to test it was, it says that if you look at the instructions recommended use, it says, so it's white, um, so it's in flakes. It says it has been developed for direct use, um, although it may be mixed with detergent, which is why I plan on mixing it in with the tie just to see how it does. And it says not recommended for um, HE machine. Now, the good thing about my washer is that it has the option. When you put it on precise fill, that makes it HE, and it chooses a lo the lowest water level that fits the load. But you also can choose what if you want to make it just like a regular um, non-HE washing machine, and you can choose the water levels for yourself. So what I decided to do is I looked at the instructions, and if you're going to use a, le a regular washing machine that isn't HE, of course we know they use a lot more water. So it says add three-fourths a cup. This is basically for a medium load, medium to large load. And so the thing about it is this. Since this is an AG, I'm gonna use a fourth a cup. And it's not even quite a fourth a cup. As you can see, it's a little bit less than a fourth a cup because I like, I, I really could just consider this a laundry booster because it says you can use it with a laundry detergent. So I'm gonna use it as a laundry booster just to see if it does a decent job at getting rid of these stains. Um, I haven't done a test of Tide by the liquid by itself, just the original version, um, just to see how it does. And that's not really the purpose of this video. If y'all would like that, I might do that a little bit later. But anyway, I just wanted to test this to see if it actually does a good job. Because my goal is to find a way to to just only have to do one wash cycle, which we all know if you were going to really have a, you had a shirt or something that had these type of stains, you've got to pre-treat this thing. My bet, my favorite is obviously clean. I'm not going to lie, I've tried different ones. Um, I might show some of the videos of the, um, cause I think I still have it on my um, memory card or whatever, of some of the videos that, the I didn't even post them because they were just so bad. Like the st they're supposed to be pre-treaters, but they really didn't work as well. Like they didn't do even better than just pre-treating pre with uh, laundry detergent. I'm doing a lot of rambling, but that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna test just this little bit of amount. So my, the settings are gonna be, size fill is going to be on a warm washer setting normal cycle it does have a second rinse that's something i wanted to talk about really really quick if i use this because i consider it a, um, a laundry booster always have a second rinse i always recommend a second rinse regardless but if you're the type of person that don't like second rinse when you add other things besides just the detergent i always recommend do a second rinse just to make sure there's no residue and nothing left over because that's what's going to cause buildup in your washer and it's going to start smelling some type of way over time it's not going to be wake up overnight and there's a problem but over time it's going to lead to more issues and complications so i always recommend if you're using oxyclean or one of the a knockoff brands of it any type of addition that you're doing besides just the laundry detergent always add a second rinse and it'll be more helpful because this does have a little bit of fragrance and if you have a fragrance allergy and so does the regular tie have fragrance and so if you there are some people that you have to use fragrance free but there are other people that they have sensitive skin but they're able to use one of these um regular laundry detergents, but with a second rinse, it's able to get rid of all of the soap and anything that could be left over on the clothes. So I always recommend a second rinse, a second rinse. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling, rambling and throw this in the wash real quick, hold on. Y'all know I really am not a big, y'all know I don't really care too much about fragrance per se, but I don't know what it is. Something about Tide just smells so good to me. Uh, you know, it never really stays on the clothes like that, but I feel this, I have it tilted so it's hard to see, but I filled it to the second line so that's what we're going to be using on here. Okay. 
Okay. Put the cat back on there. Hold up. Excuse me. And then have this. Okay. I'm gonna throw out the garment in here. A lot of these clothes that, that I'm going to be using for the rest of these tests that y'all see, um, I plan on um, giving them away to like Salvation Army or Goodwill or something like that. So, so you know, because I really don't wear these, I just use these to do these tests. So, let us get it started. Okay, so I've come back. This is, I could say mid cycle, just to show y'all can see the water level on the side where it's really, really not a lot of water um in this and a good thing about this is it says that it's low studs so it should need less rinse but the thing about it is there's a setting on here called deep fill and if you press it it'll add three more gallons of water i'm gonna do that because i don't feel too confident when it's a soap that is not an he detergent even though it does say it's low studs and when it's a soap that is not an he detergent I don't feel as confident in it being able to be rinsed out so quickly. So when you press the heat fill setting on my washer, it adds three more gallons of water. If I were to hold it, it would fill this thing all the way up. So I just pressed it so that it would add three more gallons of water. And I'll show y'all what that looks like in a second once it finishes filling. Do y'all see that? It's a little bit better. There's more water in here. As y'all can see, that makes me feel just slightly better. But another thing, this smell, is strong like some people say persil it has a strong smell this smell is so strong this just you can't smell none of the tide this takes over all of it and i really don't like the smell of this i'm i'm pretty sure it's not going to linger on the clothes i don't know why would i say i'm pretty sure i've never tested this before but i'm hoping that it's not going to stay on the clothes that much because this is not hopefully it cleans well but the smell is uh not that great in my opinion Okay, y'all. Y'all see this, right? Now, one thing I will say is, okay, y'all can see that. I wonder can y'all see it on camera. This is a little bit more dingy than, because you see this is supposed to be white. But compared to this one, I mean, all these splotches are all the same. It did remove the stains. But I can't tell. What it looks like to me is the... And this is um, permanent marker. This permanent marker has been on here for at least five days. And it looks like it did such a good job at removing it that it some of the permanent marker color bled over into this, giving it a darkish hue, if y'all could see that. So I kind of don't like that, but I am shocked that it got rid of the mustard stain. The soy sauce stain, Y'all can see this little, let me see if y'all can see the mark. Just a little bit, just a little mark. And then the grape juice stain is gone. And this is how light, y'all, now y'all know, I have not seen a single, I've not done a single test where the soy sauce, not soy sauce, the sriracha sauce is this light when it's done. These, to be fair though, these have sat on here for, let me think. Connor did these at one in the morning, it's 11, so, about nine hours. These didn't sit the whole 24 hours, but it did dry though. I will say it did dry because all of these are dry as well as you can see. Let me see if it's gonna clear. There's nothing coming off. So all of this is dry. Um, this is just, and so was this one. And so it did it, but the only con is I don't like how dingy it is now. Y'all see that, right? I don't like how dingy it looks now. I wonder, I don't know. It did the job, like let's, let. I don't know. I'm gonna test it again. I'm not gonna use Tide this time. I'm not gonna test it again. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna test another laundry detergent and I'm gonna use this just to see how it does. Hmm. I'm gonna change the water temperature too on the next test. But anyway, this is the results for the result. I wanted to do this because I haven't seen anybody actually test the result. So I wanted y'all to actually have 
a reference to see how it did. This is a before, which is, it's not exactly what it looked like before, but the, they're all the same test and I put approximately the same amount on there. And this is the after. So it did the job, it's just, when you compare these whites, let me see if I can get closer. When you compare this white and how bright it is and then this white and how dingy it is now, I don't know. Anyway, thank y'all for tuning in. Catch y'all on the next one.